Uh, first off, it's great to be here. Uh, we're excited to be here and be a part of this uh, new Battle for Atlantis tournament. Thank you for everybody involved. Uh, very, very appreciative. I talked to our guys. Uh, you know, we were at Maui last year. We're here this year. You know, the, the best preseason tournaments in the country. Uh, but we're here because of the guys that played before us. Uh, you know, Coach Hoiberg, you know, George Nia, Monte Morris, Melvin Edgem. Uh, Matt Thomas, Naz, you know, all these great guys, Deontay, Abdul Nader, all these great guys that have come before us led the way to put us in this tournament. So you really challenge your guys to honor them and honor Iowa State while they're down here. And so we're excited to be here. We've got an unbelievable field, four top 15 teams. Uh, we've got Michigan and uh, you know, Juwan, and so we're really excited. Questions for the players first, please, if you have any. Tyrese, what are the challenges that Michigan poses for you guys? Um, you know, I shoot the three ball really well. We haven't defended, you know, the three point line very well, you know, to start the year. Um, you know, got a big fella in Teske. You know, might get, um, you know, size and things like that. But, um, you know, those are some of the challenges that they, they pose. What's the, what's it like shooting in that ballroom? Um, I mean, at first it's just like, you know, you're on a long flight, so you just, you know, getting used to, you know, shooting any, it's the same as any gym, you know, uh, just a little bit different just because of, uh, depth perception and, and things like that, but you know you get used to it. Terry, what what allows you to the assist numbers you have? Why why do you think you've been as successful as you have? It obviously you need guys to make shots, but what are maybe you doing ex better this year to sort of set them up with the right shots? Um, I don't know, just you know the summer I had, just you know being able to you know grow my confidence and, and you know have confidence in myself and my game and, and different things, but. You know, it's just a testament to my, you know, my teammates. They, they make a lot of shots, and you know, I can't get assists if they're not putting the ball in the hoop. So, you know, it's a big time for them. And then, you know, the coaching staff and, you know, Coach Bromley, they trust me to, you know, make the right reads and, and things like that. So, you know, it's just a, you know, a combination of a lot of things. Mike, how are you, how do you feel you're adapting? I don't know if they call it a new position, but a new role for right. a little bit, maybe? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just, yeah, just trying to do what I can, be in the right positions, um, you know, be ready when Reese finds me. and. Try and crash the glass as much as I can. Um, you know, offensive rebound the ball, which I think I'm doing a pretty good job of so far this year. And yeah, I mean, just you know, make sure my defense is is um, in the right positions there, and you know, guarding, putting pressure on the ball, things like that. What do you? How do you feel your shot? Is it's good. I feel like it's good. Yeah. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm shooting the ball pretty well, and um, you know, I got a lot of confidence in it right now. Mike Teske's one of the well, he was one of the better. Uh, post defenders in the country last year. What's what kind of challenge is that for for the big guys tomorrow? Yeah, I mean obviously he's just you know he's seven foot one, two hundred and sixty some pounds. So he's you know just he's gonna be a presence down there. Um, we got to push him on the spots, not let him catch it too deep on us. Um, you know and just you know make sure we're attacking him, getting into his chest, getting into his body um, on offense. So he's not really gonna be effective as as a you know shot blocker or anything like that. Anything further for the players? Did you guys? Are you too young to watch like Jawan Howard much? Or I'm just curious. Did yeah, I, don't think, I saw the documentary. <laughs> yeah, I watched the, doc I watched the documentary plenty of times. So I mean, that's all right. Five one. Yeah, 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 I watched that a lot of times. So I mean, that's as much as I've seen him play. I mean, he, and I was a big fan of Heat growing up. So okay. You know, all right, thank you guys. Questions for That, that's right, when I was coming up, I mean, I was in fresh, I see in high school, 92, freshman college, 93. Uh, obviously, you know, I said this before last week, got a lot of respect for what those guys are doing now. Obviously, you know a lot more about what Chris and Juwan and, and Jalen are doing. And, uh, you know, but you know about Ray and Jimmy, I don't know exactly what they're doing now. But I think all five of those guys are doing extremely well right now. And I think that's more impressive than anything. In what ways are... Tyrese and Simpson, kind of the same guy. I don't think they're both winners. You know, I were, we recruited Xavier Simpson really hard when yeah. he got the job. Uh, I think a lot of him. I just when I watched him play, I think he was with OBC Ohio Basketball Club, and I was like, man, this kid is a winner. He is tough. Uh, a little different than point guards that I had in the past, uh, but just I loved everything about it, and I just thought he brought a lot of winning DNA to the program, and so. I think that I think they're both character uh, very high, both winning winning players, uh, and both make their teammates uh, and teams really really good. Now, when when you kind of figured out he wasn't 
coming to Iowa State. Was that when you got Donovan or no? No, we got Donovan before, and that kind of put us out of the game with him a little bit. Okay. But also, okay. Cassius Winston went to Michigan State and beat yeah. him and called, and I think he was done in about 24 hours. Steve, sort of to follow what I asked Tyrese, but what do you think is the biggest reason he's been able to, you know, set up teammates in the right spots. Again, I know they got to make shots, but part, a lot of that depends on him getting them the ball at the right time. Yeah, he's got great feel. Um, you know, when you first watched him play in high school, you know, in AAU, his pace for the game is really good. He's really cerebral, very, very smart, great basketball IQ. We've got some really good basketball IQ guys here, uh, like George Niang, Monte, and those guys, but um, very, very high basketball IQ. You know, understands reads, understands pick and roll, but he's number one. He's a willing passer. He'd rather get assists than, than shoot. To where sometimes last year it was like, man, you need to shoot that little ten foot pull up. And, you know, we're going to get that shot tomorrow. The way you know Michigan likes to defend, they they, they challenge you, make mid range jump shots. And so there's sometimes he's going to have to be aggressive to shoot, and then there's sometimes he's going to have to make the right read. Uh, but just a really, really unselfish, willing passer. Yeah. How how about Solomon and, and, and George? What talk about their battle? I don't. That's the right word. With you know against Pesky, now he's going to be a tough matchup for us. You know we got hopefully our pace of play can can challenge him to, to move him around. And, you know we got to put him in a lot of different actions uh, to get him uncomfortable defensively. But uh, offensively, man, he's big, and we got to keep him off the block. You know we got to show him different looks. Uh, and then we got to keep him off the glass. But he's big, and he gets his jump hook. He can score, but. Also, too, he does a good job of keeping everything in front defensively and walling up and being big at the rim. So we got to be smart when we attack. Solomon and George, they're they're kind of thunder and lightning. Is that are they kind of the perfect the com camera, combination you know, for you to cope with that in there? Yeah, I think they bring two different things. Solomon does it by grit and toughness. George does it by length, athleticism, and, and really being able to to block shots and change shots at the rim. And so. They both off to a really good start. I know George is top five in the country in blocks. Um, I think both have gotten better offensively around the basket, so we're trying to make emphasis on the side a little bit more than we have in the past. Um, but they've both been really good for us. And, you know, at some point, we, we're trying to see if we can put them together out there. If we do that, uh, we just got to continue to add some things defensively. You know, we're, we're probably not at that point right now. How are you guys health wise right now? We're good. Health wise, we're good. We're, we're in a good place. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. All right, guys.